Welcome to East U Masters Training Part 9. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up our basic inputs into our EMU Black. These are going to be including things like our MAP sensor, our barrel pressure sensor, oxygen sensor, as well as our throttle position. We're also going to take a look at setting up basic switched inputs as well. We're going to have a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our basic inputs and parameters for our EMU Black. So these are going to be things like our throttle position sensor, our oxygen sensor, our map pressure sensor, and other basic analog inputs in order to get our vehicle up and running. So in the last couple videos, we took a look at our main setup and configuration, our trigger setup and configuration, and now we're going to be moving on to these basic inputs that are vital in order to make our engine run on our EMU Black. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure that you have your main setup page layout open here so you can follow along with what I'm doing. If you jump here into desktops, move into open desktops template, and then move in here to our main setup. This is going to be what I have and what I'm working with on my screen right now. So let me cancel that right quick here. And then we're going to be moving from our setup page here into the basic page. The basic page is going to be holding all of these basic parameters that we need to program and work with. Now before we jump in here, let's just start to take a look at what we have available on the screen as far as the different parameters and different tables to work with. We're going to find on the left hand side here, we have a raw state coming in from our analog inputs. This is going to be allowing us to take a look at the voltages that are going to be coming in when we wire into our various inputs. We're going to find that if we have a CAN based module, these are going to be our CAN inputs here. We have our 8 CAN inputs, we have our 6 analog inputs that we can actually physically wire into our EMU black and then we also have our TPS voltage that's going to be our throttle position voltage which is going to be a dedicated input to the EMU black. Now in addition to that we have down here under the basic tab these are all the basic parameters that we need to take a look at so we can see engine RPM, we see the barrow pressure, we see our map pressure, we see throttle position, intake air temp, coolant temp, battery voltage and some other information here that we don't need to talk about right now in this particular training video. Now right to the right of this we have our graphical layout that's going to be plotting all of our data graphically and then within the actual editing windows we have our analog inputs these are going to be the sensor setup we'll talk about this here uh, very first thing we're, we're going to work with then we have our momentary switch setup we have our oxygen sensor setup so it's going to be um, how we want to have our lambda sensor coming into our ECU whether it's going to be narrow band or wide band we have our throttle position sensor we have our multi switch multiplex style switching system that we can use we also have our map and barrow pressure parameter thresholds and then we're going to find that we have our map calibration and our barrow tables. These are going to be our calibration tables. So we have a whole bunch of things to cover in the video. Again, this is going to be the bare bones that you need to have set up, configured, and wired into your EMU Black in order to make your vehicle run. So first and foremost, let's go up here to sensors set up into analog inputs and talk about what we have within this window. We're going to find that we have six different analog inputs we can work with and actually wire things into our EMU Black. We're going to find that this is going to be defining the pull down or pull up strength. Now the default here, if we're looking at our 1 through 6, this is going to be here 1M pull down. So this is going to be set for the default selection. If you're wiring in a 0 to 5 volt sensor, let's say a pressure sensor, it's going to be a fuel pressure or oil pressure, you need to leave it on the 1M pull down. If you're going to be wiring in a switch to any of your analog inputs here, either 1 through 6, we have to choose a different pull down or pull up based on what kind of switch we're working with. So if we're going to be working with a 12 volt input switch, so 5 to 12 volt range, that's going to be sending power into the analog input, we have to make sure we use a pull down. So the pull down is going to be connecting internally this analog input into an actual ground circuit on the board. So that's going to be again for a 5 volt or 12 volt input switch, a basic on off toggle switch and I have that on the screen right now so you can see what that would look like. That's going to be what we have to select. Now if we're going to be working with a ground trigger switch, so we're going to be grounding the pin either one analog 1 through 6 here, we have to go to the 4K pull up, 4K7 pull up here. That's going to be then hooking it internally to a 5 volt reference on the board. So depending on what kind of switch we're working with, we would have to choose one of these options here. Now if we're taking a look here at the very bottom, we can see the coolant temp pull up and then the intake air temp pull up. These are going to be a 2.2K ohm or 2200 ohm style pull up. We can see these are toggled on. We always want to leave these toggled on if we're wiring in our intake air temp 
or our engine coolant temperature right directly into our EMU black, which is going to be the case for most situations. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.